Hi everyone, it's your girl that's them showing and this is another episode of Best on Barbara. Yeah, new background. I'm not at home. So I know it's been a while since I did a video. But as you see, I finally got my piece made with my mother's uh nickname. She used to call me Lou. Um so yeah, happy excited about that. That's not what I want to talk about today. Today I want to talk about um mental health. I haven't talked about um anxiety my anxiety in a while and I don't know who needs to hear this so here we go so um I have been working as you guys know since my mom passed and I really just stopped driving because my anxiety is really bad when I drive so I, I just stopped driving and I don't like the bridge so I've been avoiding the bridge and I haven't just been going anywhere um so basically I have been like a prisoner in my home um, because of me not wanting to get in the car um, for whatever reasons so but but there's a better ending so uh, recently uh, me and my friend we went to Louisiana um, five hour drive maybe six six there and back I did not ask to pull over one time. I made it through. I, I really did really, 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 really good. I'm so proud of myself because any other time, after every hour, I would have jumped out the car and rolled in the street. So um, I was very proud of myself with that. And just last night, <laughs> we went out for her birthday and she had a good, let's just say she had a good time. So I have, as I told you, I haven't been driving lately. So um, she couldn't drive. So guess what that made me? The designated driver. And um, I was like, I can't do this. I can't do this. I was just like, God, what am I gonna do? But I put my big girl underwear on. I got in the car and I actually drove from downtown Houston all the way a 30 minute drive back to her house and i made it with no problems so i say that to say this um i'm not gonna say that i won't have an episode i won't say i'm back driving regular again but those two things are two big accomplishments that i can actually say that hey i can do this i can't overcome this and anybody that's going through something whether it's anxiety depression whatever mental health you're going through, just know there's 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 a, a rainbow at the end of that at the end of that, that rain cloud. There's help, there's people, get your support system. I always I always stress that get you a good support system. Without a good support system, you're it's it's terrible. Don't try to do it on your own. Be around people that genuinely care for you. Um, and like I said, it was one day at a time. It's been almost six months and I got in the car and I drove by myself last night. So it can be done. So it's baby steps and, the, and the, if tomorrow I fuck up, then I'm just gonna start over with a new day and take it and remember those two times I drove all the way to Louisiana and back, no problem. Well, I didn't drive. I sat in the car for five hours, which is good for me. Like I say, cause now I've been rolling down I-10 some damn well. But yeah, so that is what I want to tell you guys to update my anxiety. I'm working on it. I'm getting better. Um, I'm starting to go out more. And um, yeah, so if you have any comments, questions, you want me to talk about anything, you want to tell me your experience, drop it in the um, comments, subscribe, tell a friend. And remember, that's on Barbara.